Yo, what's up everyone? Muzi Beats here, and today I thought I could show you my mixing and mastering tips and tricks. Everything that I do from start to finish, just so that you can have an idea of how to mix and master your beats. And I just want to put this out there. The way I do it is not the best way to do it. It might even be far from the best way to do it. But then if you're a beginner, if you're not good at mixing and mastering, you know, this can help you out. I am going to play the beat, and then from there, we'll get into the mixing and mastering. <laughs> So from the get-go, you can already hear that the kick and the 808 are too loud. So is the hi-hats and so is the, everything's just too loud and it has not been processed yet. So first things first, what I like to do is I like to start with the intro, which will be this section right here. For us to be able to start mixing and mastering, what we do need to do is we need to route all our tracks to the mixer. So we can do this by clicking this button right here on the channel rack. You can click on one box and then just drag from the top box to left click and drag down. Or what you can do, what I prefer to do to make everything shorter is I just go to any random box, double click, and it automatically highlights everything for you. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe on my way to 100 subscribers so you subscribe and can help me out let's get back to the video so now that we have all, everything highlighted on our channel rack or our tracks we can go into the mixer start from insert one we're gonna press command shift l or control shift l and what that does is that delays everything out or if you don't want to do that the longer way is you can just right click on the first track choose channel routing and choose to route from select from the selected track we're gonna start with the intro which is only just the instrument plane the guitar plane and the reverse symbol i'm gonna go from the mixer to the playlist by clicking this button right here which is the playlist button i'm gonna zoom in. and so what we can do is we can just highlight from the eight here until we get to the one just so that it's only this section play so that like that so i'm highlighting by right clicking and just choose and just highlighting so now it will just be this section playing so first things first with the melody i'll go back to the mixer by clicking this button with the melody we need an eq so that we can leave room for the 808 and the kick so that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to go to slot one we're going to choose parametric eq which should, should be right here and then we're going to go to this section right here where with the dot not not this symbol right here but the one with the dot we're going to left click and drag down until we get four until we get four dots four blank dots like that and then we're just going to drag out all the bass well, not all the bass but just some of the bass just so that the 808 and the kick will hit here and the melody will not interfere now we don't want to drag out all the bass because the melody will not have any character at all we'll just drag out some of the bass and then we're going to do the same with the last seven band right here and we're just going to double click on the dots until we get to the four blank dots and then we're just going to roll off some of the high end Now, what I like to do sometimes is with something that has a lot of mids, like this uh, melody, I just like to dial down some of the mids, just so that we can leave room for the vocals if a rapper chooses to hop on it. And then we're gonna grab a reverb. Just so that we can, just so that it makes the sound a little bit wet. We're gonna roll down completely, roll down the sound of the reverse symbol, just so that it's not too loud and it's not in our face when when it happens. So um, this is what the melody is gonna sound like now. So that, that's gonna lead into the hook, which we'll mix just now. So I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna right click from the nine until we get to the 20, 24, just so that we can just, this part will just be looping over and over again and it'll be easier for us to mix our sounds like that. I forgot to level, I forgot to level the melody, my bad. Now I like to get my melody to hit anywhere between 21 to 18. So I'm just gonna drag this down. Now I put bird sounds just for ambience, just to make the beat sound a little bit more interesting. So I'm just gonna roll these down too. I'm gonna put it in mono, just so that it's more in the middle and it's not, um, it's not in stereo and it's not bouncing all over the place. We're gonna start with the hi-hats. These are the hi-hats I use for the beat. Um, well, first things first, what I like to do is I like to pan them to the left a little bit, just so that not everything in the beat is just in the center. So with them panned, I just like to bring them down. I usually get them to hit between 21, 24, 21, around there. And then we're going to go with the clap. Now, what I like to do with the clap is I like to get to hit the 12 dB. The open hat. Now, I'm going to pan the open hat to the right a little bit. I'm just going to drag this down. You know, it's going to hit below the hi-hats, maybe somewhere 27, 30, 33, somewhere around there. And then we're going to go with the 808. 
Now with the 808, what I like to do is I like to completely put it in mono, um, but and I do this by getting this small dial right here, dragging it uh, to the far right. And then I'm gonna open up another EQ on slot one, and we're gonna do the exact same thing I did before. We'll go to the dots here until we get four blank dots. We'll do the same thing at the other end, and we'll just roll off this section here because this section is not really needed. You don't hear it much, and it's just low end rumble. And then we'll roll off most of the high end, most of the high end, and we we'll just leave the mid and the 808 play. We don't want to roll off too much because the 808 has a lot of distortion, and if you roll off too much of the 808, the distortion will just won't sound good. So that's what it sounds like now. Now, rolling off all these frequencies makes it exaggerate certain frequencies of the 808, so that it makes so it makes it louder naturally. So you have to drag this down, knob down too. Maybe I like to get my 808 to hit at 9 dB. Now we have this perk right here. As I said, I like to pan all my hi hats and my perk sounds. I like to pan them left and right just so that not everything is in the center and like there's little like ear candies like you know just playing all over the place so I'll, pl I'll pan this to the left and then I'll get this kick here I'll put it in complete mono now with the kick I like to do the exact same thing I did with the 808 but I have a secret trick I use for the kick I'll just bring this down this is the loudest thing I'll open up another parametric EQ roll off the low end rumble and then just cut off some of the mids just so that the 808 has room to hit over here and the kick will you know hit in this section and when they hit together it will just sound amazing so i'm just gonna and i like to get my kick to hit at minus 6 db so we'll just put it at 6 db so okay so this is what everything sounds like together now Now personally I think it sounds good but if you've noticed the volume is much lower than before and now this is where the mastering comes in. Now as I said before I'm not the best at mixing and mastering I just do what I do and sometimes it sounds good and sometimes it doesn't but then what I like to do for my mastering specifically since I don't know too much I'll go to the master channel which is right here I'll choose slot 10 and then I'll choose a limiter, fruity limiter. On the envelope settings I dial everything down to zero and then from here we're just gonna mess with the gain to make it as loud as, as loud as we like it. So if it's sitting at 6 dB and it's peaking in at around, I think that it peaks around like 4, 4, 5, 4 dB around there. So in my, my suggestion is that we're trying to get to hit at 0, so that should be another 4 or 5 dB of makeup gain, just so that we can get it louder again. That's the tutorial for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. On my way to 100 subscribers, so you subscribe and can help me out. Thank you very much, and you can just click on any of these other videos and you can watch those too.